So the question says five teams A, B, C, D, and E participated in a football tournament in which every team plays against every other team exactly once, and the tournament is completed. The first match is played between A and B, and the second match is played between C and D. The successive matches are numbered as consecutive natural numbers, starting with the first match numbered as match one. No team plays in any two successive matches. This is the only information that we have, and after that, we have straight away questions. That means we have to make all possible cases through which this tournament can be completed, and any question would be asked from that only. So let's start talking about it. So first of all, the first match is between A and B. He has clearly told us that first match is between A and B. The second match is between C and D. And two consecutive matches cannot be between same two teams. That's what the question is telling us, right? So my point here is now the third match can be between A, B, and E, right? Any of the two teams between A, B, and E. There are three matches possible between A, B, and E. That is A, B, A, E, and B, E. And because A B have already played a match, the next match is going to be between A E or B E. But there is a point to understand here. If we start making cases like this, probably there would be many cases, and we can't make all of them. But we can understand one thing. Till now, A and B are exactly behaving in a similar way. I mean, there was a match between A and B. So if I put A in place of B and B in place of A. It does not make a difference. I mean, the third match, the third match is between A and E. Of course, the third match can be between B and E as well. But isn't it the match between B and E? I just have to replace A by B. So whatever cases can be formed with A E, I just replace A with B in those cases and B with A. I will have another new cases which are starting with B and E. I hope you are getting my point. Because till now A and B are exactly behaving in a similar way. A B and B A they can be interchanged any time till now. So if the third match is between B and E, so I am saying whatever combination can be made at the end, I can just replace A with B, B with A. Everything else would still be sorted. So therefore, I am just making A E over here in the third match, and I am keeping it aside that the third match. Could have been B and E as well, and I'll tell you what am I saying at this stage. You would understand that better at that time. Similarly, now the next match, the fourth match, the fourth match can be between B, C, or D. What can the be the match? It can be B C, it can be B D, or it can be C D. But C D have already played, so the match is going to be between B C or B D. Now, if the match is going to be between B C or B D, and once again till now C and D have behaved in exactly similar way, I mean second match which was between C and D, till now no one else has talked about C or D anywhere. So if I replace with B C with B D, it does not make a difference. I mean C and D again can be interchanged any time. So I am taking the next match as between B and C with that same restriction as I am telling you that with. In place of BC, I could have said BD as well. So the fourth match can be BD too. It does not make a difference. I will be talking about that as well later on. Now, now they have behaved separately. Now there was a match between A and B, but A has played with E, B has played with E, C. These are different cases. When I talk about C and D, C has played with B, D is yet to play a game. So therefore, now things would be different for us. So the fifth match is going to be between whom? B and C played in the fourth match, so the fifth match can be between A, E, or D. There are three matches possible between them: A, E, D, E, or A, D. Because A, E have already played the match, so the next match can be either between D, E, or it can be between A, D. So there are two possibilities that I have to make over here. till now there are five matches that we have talked about just like like this i'll move ahead now from de what are the next matches the next match is going to be between a b and c a and b have already played a match so next match cannot be between a and b it can be bc or ac but b and c have already played a match that means the next match is surely going to be 
between A and C in this case. So currently, I'm just going ahead with this case now. Six matches have happened in this case. A and C played in match number six. So who is going to play in match number seven? The match number seven would be between B, D and E. So between B, D and E, I see, is there any match that has already happened? Yes, D and E have already played. So the next match can be between B, D. It can be between B, E. And once again, I have two cases. It can be B, D or B, E. Let's once again talk about B, D now. So if I move ahead from B, D, the next match would be between A, C or E. I already have a match between A and E. They can't play now. So apart from that, uh, there can be a match between AC, there can be a match between CE. So are both the possibilities still valid? No, AC have already played. So that means the next match is definitely going to be between C and E. The next match is going to be between C and E. Now after C and E, the next match is going to be between A, B or D. A, B have already played their match. B, D have already played their match. So the next match is going to be between A and D for sure. And now we are left with B, C and E. So now the match can be between B, C, but B, C have already played. It can be between C, E, but C, E have already played. It can be between B, E. Yes, it can be the match. So yes, that makes one of the possibilities. A, B, C, D, A, E, B, C, D, E, A, C, B, D, C, E, A, D and B, E. And I'm sure that I have not, I mean, uh, just uh, repeated any of the cases. So just have a closer look once again that I have not uh, I mean repeated any cases I don't think yes I have not repeated let's talk about this other case now when BE have played a game the next match is going to be between A C and D now A C D match C D have already played a match A C have already played a match so next guess is definitely going to be between A and D right after A D then we are left with B C and E so when I talk about B, C and E, B, C have already played a match. We can have a match between B, E, but B, E have already played a match. So next match must be between C and E only. And after C and E, the next match is going to be between whom? It is going to be between A, B and D. So between A, B, D, A, B have already played a match. And then I see that A, D have already played a match. So I'm only left with B and D. Yes. This is also a possibility according to this. So that's another possible case that we have formed. Now we'll come to the other branch of it. The other branch is about AD. So let's talk about this other branch. Now, these two cases are definitely possible. Now I'm talking about the other branch, AB, CD, AE, BC and AD. So after AD, the next match is going to be between whom? It is going to be between B, C and E. So out of BCE, I already have a play, I have a match between B and C. So the next match can be between BE and CE. So there are two branches again. It can be between BE and CE. Let's talk about BE. The next match is going to be between A, C and D. I already have a match between CD. I already have a match between AD. So that means the next match is definitely going to be between CD and AD are gone. So next match is going to be between A and C. Yes. In this case, it will be AC. After AC, I am left with B, D and E. So now BDE, out of BDE, uh, I already have a match between B and E over here. Right? B and E have already played a match. So what are we left with? We are left with BD and we are left with DE. So have they played a game BD or DE? No. So the next match can be between BD or DE. Once again, a branch has come up. But eight matches have already happened. Now, after BD, the next match is between A, C, and E. So, have AC played a game? Yes. Have CE played a game? No. Have AE played a game? Yes. So, that means the next match is definitely going to be between CE. And after CE, we are left with A, B, and D. So, if A, B, D are there, we already have a match between A, B. We already have a match between B, D. We already have a match between A, D. That means this case is ruled out. This case is ruled out. We don't have any other match possible. So let's come to this scenario now. So here after DE, I'm left with A, B and C. I already have a match between A, B. I already have a match between B, C and I already have a match between A, C. So therefore, this case is also ruled out. These two cases are not possible. 
So both the branches are gone according to this case. So I'm just removing them now. So the only branch left after AD is that of CE. CE is the only branch. So we are already on the sixth match now. Let's move on to the seventh. After CE, we are left with A, B and D. So I'm not writing it now. Do not have much space. So out of ABD, I already have AB. I already have AD. So the next match must be between BD. Now we are left with ACE. Out of ACE, we have a match between AE. We have a match between CE. So the next match must be between AC. Then we are left with BDE. Out of BDE, we have a match between BD. Right? Out of BDE, we have a match between BD. So next match between BE or DE. Both are possible. So it might be BE. It might be DE. After BE, we are left with ACD. Now we have a match between AC. We have a match between AD. We have a match between CD. So not possible. This branch is gone. And after DE, we are left with ABC. We have a match between AB. We have a match between BC and AC. So this branch is also gone. That means we can't go here. So what is the only possibility with us? The only possibility is, let me just remove all other possible cases. The only, only possible case are these two cases that are there on your screen now. So A, B, C, D, A, E, B, C, D, E, A, C. Till now, everything is the same. Then we have either this branch or this branch. Now, what was I talking about? Does that mean there are only two cases? I'm talking about this case now. That if the third match is B, E. So I just have to replace A with B in every case and B with A. And you will see everything would still be okay. Just have a look at this. A, B, C, D. What if I write B in place of A? It will be B, A. Now, A in place of B would be A, C. Then next would be D, E. In place of A, C, I would be writing B, C. And once again, the one branch would be A, D, C, E, B, D, and A. I am just replacing A's with B's. Similarly, in the other branch, I will have A, E, B, D, C, E, and A, D. You will see that they are still valid. Everything would be still okay. Because I just replaced with A with B. That makes it four cases. And similarly, in the fourth case, if I just replace B, C with D, if I just replace B with D, so if you replace C with D and D with C, that will also make two cases here. C with D and D with C, that will also make two more cases over here. So ultimately, we will be having a total of eight cases. But the point is, I do not have to work for all those cases. I just had to work for these few cases. Now, you might be saying, so this is too lengthy, but actually this is the only information in this question. And whatever questions are there, if he is giving you five questions in LRDI only on this, this is worth doing. This was the logical part of it. Had you understood it, probably you could have done this question in six or seven minutes by making all the eight cases. So I'll just move on to the questions now, which of the following teams definitely played match five of the tournament. These are the eight cases that I have written. So match five is definitely played by E. Anyways, this was not a difficult question. So my answer is option C for this. The correct answer is option C. That is it. Next, if team B played match eight in the tournament, then they could have played match against which of the following teams? They played match A. So B has played match eight with D. B has played match at match eight with C. So they might play against D or C. So my answer is D or C, that is option D, that is either C or D, nothing else is there. Next, in how many different ways can the matches be scheduled? As we have already discussed, there are a total of eight cases that are formed here. So my answer for this question is eight. Then, if team D played match nine in the tournament, they could not have played against which of the following teams in that match. So D played match nine, they played against B, they played against E, they played against E. A, they have never played against C in any of the cases. So my answer is option C. And which of the following teams could not have played match 6 of the tournament? Could not have played match 6 of the tournament. Match 6 is played by B, played by C, played by D, played by A. But E can never play that match. So my answer is option B. Once 15th question is answered, 20th is automatic. Sorry, once 16th question is answered, 20th is automatically answered. 16th was asking... Match 5 is definitely played by whom? That was E. So E definitely played match 5. So definitely they did not play match 6. That was the answer for question number 20.